Hi, welcome to this tutorial on Second Life scripting. Today we're going to create a magic ball script that will provide a random answer when touched. I assume you know how to create and manipulate prims, so we won't go into that. If you right click and go edit, the window on the right appears. If you click the new script button, the default script is created. We're going to rename this to magic ball script so that it's easy to find in your inventory. So if you right click and go open, you'll get the window with the source code. The basic script says hello avatar when it's created and touched whenever it's touched. It consists of one state named default which contains two events, state entry and touch start. Both call a built-in function LLC which takes two arguments, the chat channel to speak on and the string to display. I'll just show you what it says when you touch it. Touched. Okay, if we highlight the state entry and delete it, because we won't need it for our script. Similarly with the LLC function. We can move this down to give us some more space. So we need to make a global variable to hold all the answers. So we'll have a list called answers and we'll initialize it to have some positive answers and some negative answers. The data elements are separated by commas. And the list is terminated with a closing brace and semicolon. We now want to pick a random answer from the list and return it. So we'll create a function that returns a string and we'll call it generate answer. It takes no parameters and we'll open it with a brace. We now want to generate a random number between zero and the length of the list, but not exactly the length of the list. And we'll cast it to an integer. This will give us a random number between zero and the length of the list minus one. The llfrand function will return the random number. We'll seed it with the llgetListLength function. Lastly, we'll return a string from our list, which we'll get by using the llListToString function, passing in the answers list and the answer index, which we obtained from the previous statement. Lastly, we have to call the llownersay function inside our touch start. So we need a call to the generate answer function to return a string for us to use. We'll save this and say save complete. So we'll now close the source code window and will this be a good script? Second life seems to have froze there. Let's try it again. Touch. Yes, it is certain. 